Hey guys, it's Kaylee here. I know it's been quite a while since the last time I posted anything on my channel, so I just wanted to make a quick video and let you guys know what I've been up to. So the last time I posted a video, I was working on my P87 production run. Um, since then, I started two new production runs. I'm working on my K-pop multi-tool and my KHO hunting knife. So I have both of them here. I'll show you guys those in just a minute. Um, I also went down and took a class with Alan Foltz. He is a uh, knife maker and designer, and he does a lot of designs for CRKT. An amazing guy. I absolutely love him. But I went down to Florida and took a, a class with him for the weekend, and I made a couple of folders, too. Um, I took a video for you guys of my folders that I made, and I'll have to post those up so you can see. But hopefully I'll be making liner locks here soon and, uh, and selling those. So I'm really excited, definitely taking it to the next level, and I'm improving a ton. I got a variable speed for my grinder. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Right there. So excited about that. So that's definitely helped improve my work a ton. Um, it helps my finishes just look way cleaner and, and a lot nicer. Um, and then I also got a milling machine too. So I need to set it up though and get it in my shop, but my shop is so tiny. So we'll see how that goes. But definitely uh, getting new equipment and better equipment is going to help improve things tremendously. So I'll definitely, I'll keep you guys posted on how everything's coming out. But let me show you my two new production runs. So I have my K-pop multi-tool. This is 4.5 inches overall length, 1095 high carbon steel. It's V-ground, texturized. Uh, there's no handles because I did three hex hole bits into the handle. So when you have your sheath on here, you can use the bits. And then you have a bottle opener and then some really deep aggressive jimping and a lanyard hole to extend your grip a little bit. Those come with a Kydex sheath. You can get it in black or camo. And then this is my KHO hunting knife. So this is eight inches overall length. Again, 1095 high carbon steel. Um, I, I like working with high carbon steel because it's the easiest to heat treat for me. I don't have um, a special oven or anything that I can heat treat stainless steel in. So until I can get a better oven for heat treating and tempering, um, I, I just prefer working with high carbon steel. But I like high carbon steel. It holds an edge really, really well. The only thing that you have to worry about is rusting. So you just want to make sure that you keep it well oiled. And if you know, as long as you do that, you're not going to have any issues. All right, so let's see. Um, I decided to go with 550 paracord and wrap the handles. And I put an epoxy on there, so you don't have to worry about these getting stained or anything. So if you do take this out hunting, it's an excellent skinner. Um, you don't have to worry about getting blood in your paracord and, and staining or ruining your handles or anything. So that's my KHO production run. I just got to put an edge on these, and then they'll be good to go. So normally, these are actually two custom orders that I did. So if somebody wanted an OD green wrap. And these guys wanted the uh, the orange with some black in there as well. So those are two custom orders. But normally what I do is just the regular normal uh, Hunter Orange wrap. Because I have this Hunter Orange Kydex that I got from Index Fasteners. It's, really, it's actually really, really bright, but the lighting in here sucks, so you can't really see it well. But yeah, those come with the Kydex sheath as well. And like I said, the standard is just the regular um, Hunter Orange wrap with the Hunter Orange Kydex. So yeah, and then in between my two runs that I've been doing, I've been messing around with uh, some files and doing a couple of file knives. So I have, I'll show you guys these since I get you here. All right, so this is one of the file knives that I just finished up. It's got red liners, black G10 handles, V-ground, 7.5 inches overall length, high carbon steel. And then I have a little pocket pimp here too that I made just for fun. When I first started out knife making, I used to make a ton of pocket pimps. I just thought they were really fun to make. Um, I like to call them pocket pimps. You can keep them in your pocket. You can wear it as a neck knife, um, whatever you want. But I just thought they were fun little backup knives to have. So I started making a couple of those again out of the little leftover pieces of files. So this is V-ground, nice and thick. It's got Kieranite handles. I still have to polish those up. You got a little lanyard hole, so I'm going to throw a lanyard on there. And then I actually did some file work on the top there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I got another file knife over here that I just put handles on. Gotta finish that up. But that is pretty much it. I just wanted to keep you guys posted. I know I'm really, really bad at keeping up with my videos and keeping you guys posted with what's going on. I need to be better at that. So I promise I'll try to make more videos, but 
Um, for those of you that still follow me and want to know what's going on, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to purchase one of my production runs, um, you can just shoot me an email and I'll leave my email in the description box down below for you guys. So I guess that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.